Hello everybody and welcome to Bourbon Adventures. On today's episode, I'm going to give you my top five bottles that I would have picked if I was starting my bourbon journey today. So the first bottles that I bought weren't necessarily these, a couple of them were. Um, I usually went out and I watched some videos to see, you know, what people like and what people don't like, prices, stuff like that. And I've been doing into bourbon for about three years now, so I kind of have a, a decent idea of what is good and bad, so, uh, or for me anyway, not for everybody else. But if I had any advice for people, of if they asked me what bottles should I start with, I'm going to give them this list. So we'll start with the first one. We're kind of going to go, um, I kind of took price and proof I guess because you kind of want a, a, a mixture of you don't know what you like yet so there is a, a mixture of different ones so my first one coming in at 90 proof I think everybody knows what this bottle is this is uh, Buffalo Trace from Buffalo Trace um, Buffalo Trace is only about 27 to 30 dollars depending on your area um, this bottle, because it is Buffalo Trace, and they have a very good reputation of being a sweeter bourbon. It's in every bar. Now, it might not be the easiest bottle to find in your store, in your area, but I see it fairly regular around here. And I usually pick up a bottle if I'm running low or whatever. But this one, it comes in... Right, yeah, like I said, around $28 to $30. It smells, on the nose, there's caramel, honey, orange, vanilla. I mean, it's very sweet. You get some brown sugar when you, on, the, on the palate. Also toffee and a little bit of rye spice, not a lot. It's a light. And then, uh, but you can't go wrong. If you pick up a bottle of Buffalo Trace, you can't go wrong. I know a lot of people, some people hate it just because it is Buffalo Trace, but I enjoy it and I would highly recommend anyone to pick up this bottle, especially starting out. It's a good mixer if you want to do that, especially at the price point. So first one's Buffalo Trace. Second bottle. This one is Michter's Rye. Now I put a rye in here because some people like the rye, some people don't, but it's a rye that is on every store shelf. It's usually around $45, so it's a little more than the Buffalo Trace, but it is a completely different type of, it's a rye instead of a bourbon. This one only comes in at 84.8 .8 proof. Um, so this is about a four year old which I forgot to mention, but the Buffalo Trace, Buffalo Trace says it's eight years. There's rumors that it's eight to 10, but who knows, or six. The rumor's six to eight. They say, they claim eight, eight years, but you never know. Um, the Michters, again, you're gonna get the caramel. On this bottle, you get a little bit of green apple, cherry, and then on the palate, you get a baking spice, which you typically will get with any rye. Oak, caramel, a little bit of cinnamon. It's a sweeter um, rye to me. Um, yeah, I picked this up. This was actually, I think this was the first rye that I actually did buy. And I've polished off most of it. So that was bottle number two. The third bottle, this one comes from Jim Beam. This is a Knob Creek Nine Year. Comes in at 100 proof. This bottle is normally around 50, 55, or no, I'm sorry, wrong one. This one is 35 to 40 in that area. I think I got it for 42, but that was after tax and everything. So Knob Creek, it is Jim Beam, so you're gonna get the nuttiness, the vanilla, oak, caramel, a little bit of a barrel char on the nose. Palette, you're gonna get some oak, peppercorn, toasted caramel, 
It's actually what I have in my glass tonight. So I really enjoy the Knob Creek 9. The first bottle of Knob Creek I got was actually the barrel proof right here, the single barrel nine year reserve. But this one's at 120 proof. I really like that one. And then I also, I think last year I got a Knob Creek 12. I really love that one. So I just actually picked this one up maybe a month or so ago, two months. And I really enjoy it. I haven't found a bad Knob Creek that I don't like. So number three would be Knob Creek. It's a little bit higher in proof than these two, but the price point is all fairly similar with these three. Now the next bottle is gonna be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more proof. So this is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. This comes in at 116.8 proof. Um, this will run you between 50 and 60, depending on your area. Around, around here, it's about $50. Um, you're gonna get, on the nose, you're gonna get some caramel, orange zest, a little bit of light citrus. And on the palate, again, you're gonna get um, sweet and spicy rye, um, which is, I, I, as you can tell, I really like Rare Breed. Uh, it does, it, it's only 116 proof, but it does have a little bit of a bite to it. Um, on the palate, you also get some maple and uh, sugar, caramel, a little bit of leather. I think you can get that on the nose too, if I recall, but it is a, it's, it's really good. <laughs> um, this is also a blend, and on their website it says it's a blend of six, eight, and 12 year old bourbons. So it's got a little bit of age. Um, I think that's where the uh, barrel, like the char oak comes from, is the 12 year bourbon that's in here. So that would be my fourth bottle that I would pick up if I was just starting my journey today. And don't forget, people, if you do like this video, don't forget to like and comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I did forget to, not forget, I didn't get a video out last week because I did have a cold and I wasn't sounding the greatest. I'm just coming down, so bear with me on this one. But we will be getting at least a, one video out a week. I'm really, really trying to get two videos. All right, so now my last bottle is a little more on the higher end side of the price point. And it's not the easiest to find. Um, this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. This particular bottle is the B521 batch. So the B stands for the second release of the year. The five is the month, so May, and then 21 is the year. So this came out May 2021. This particular bottle, because all the barrel proofs, Elijah Craig's are a little bit different in your proof, age, uh, everything like that. This one is 118.2 and it is a 12 year old. Now this one, because of the age, you do get the barrel char on the nose graham cracker, burnt caramel, like it's very, very good. I absolutely love this bottle. This was the very first allocated bottle that I actually bought. And I didn't even know it was allocated because I was still so new to bourbon that I just seen it and I was like, oh, I want something higher proof. So I bought this and then found out later that, oh, that's an allocated bottle. <laughs> but anyway, so on the palate you get oak, leather, a little bit of brown sugar, and then on the finish, you get that sweet caramel. It, this bottle in particular does finish a little dry. Uh, the new A124 just released this year, a little bit ago. I haven't actually seen that in a store yet, so, but if I do, I'm gonna pick this up. And I can't remember if I said this, but this does run typically 80 to $90, depending on where you're at. Um, back in 21, I think I only paid 70, but prices obviously have gone up. So these are my five bottles that I would start my 
bourbon adventure with, journey with, if I was just starting out today. I do have an honorable mention bottle. I didn't, I don't have any left because I finished it, but Old Forester 1920, 115 proof. I absolutely love this bottle. I, I gotta go get a backup because I finished this one off. But this is, I, I was very, I really wanted to put it in the lineup, but I did give it an honorable mention this time, so. But if, if you could comment in the, in the comments below, um, what would your five bottles be starting out? Or what, five bottle, what were your five bottles that you started out with? Let me know, we can compare. Do you agree, disagree, anything like that? But I think that's all I got today. Hopefully you uh, like it, share, share the video, subscribe to the video, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, it's not about the whiskey, it's about the memories shared and the flavors embraced. Until our glasses meet again, cheers to the next pour. Thank you.